Hi, my name is Andrew. I'm a technology expert here at the Human Manual. In this video, we'll be showing you how to set up your Samsung Galaxy S4. Once you've taken your S4 out of the box and popped your SIM and your microSD card into the respective slots, you'll need to press and hold the power buttons on the right hand side of your S4. Your S4 will go through the usual Samsung greeting messages. After those animated messages, you'll be taken through the setup wizard. Unfortunately, at this point, you're not able to adjust the brightness of the screen, but we'll show you how to do this later. Firstly, choose your desired language, followed by touching next. If you'd like to set up Wi-Fi, you can do it now by choosing your desired wireless network from the list. The password will be something either set by you or something listed on the back of your router. Once happy, touch connect. Once you're connected, touch next. You'll see a license agreement between you and Samsung. Choose your desired options. Please note that the section at the bottom refers to whether you're happy to share some crash reports with Samsung. Touch next. You can sign into your Samsung account if you have one. This will bring across any settings, automatically back up your device and help you find your phone if you lose it. We'll have some tutorials on the Samsung account too. Touch next to continue. If you have a Google account already, touch yes and enter your login credentials. Otherwise, touch no and you'll be taken through the process of setting up a new Google account. To hide the keyboard, touch done. Now opt whether or not you want to receive marketing messages from Google. Now your details are being verified. If you have come from another Android device, using the backup and restore service is brilliant because it brings your apps back. If this is your first Android device or the first time you've seen this message, opt to back up your device with Google too. You can now alter your Google location services. By default, the options are all ticked. This is okay if you're a person who likes local search results to be a little bit more specific, or perhaps you want to access Google Maps nice and quickly and for it to find your location using the GPS. Samsung have very kindly given us 50 gigabytes worth of free data storage with Dropbox for two years. Take advantage of this now by signing into your Dropbox account or just create a new one. The S4 comes packed with gesture control features that bring life to Samsung's slogan around it being life's companion. You can activate them here by touching any one of them and you'll get a pop-up tutorial. The final step is to name your S4. Touch inside the box to change the name. The name is used for Bluetooth, Wi-Fi tethering, and of course, Wi-Fi direct services, to name a few. Great, you're now all set up and you're good to go. Let's walk you through some of the basics of the phone. This is your home screen, and by swiping your finger left or right, you'll be able to see the others which house application shortcuts and widgets which bring you quick and easy information uh, about your favorite apps or just show you up-to-date information about news, weather, or even your social network. Your S4 has a notification area, and it's accessible by sliding your finger down from the top of the screen. You can now activate Wi-Fi, GPS, Bluetooth, and many other features. Just swipe across to see more. You'll also find app calls, text, email, and other notifications here too. At the bottom of the screen, you have some customizable options. The apps menu icon will always be there. This is your apps menu, and it will house all your apps and settings downloaded from Google Play. Google Play is the actual app store. You can add widgets to your home screen to present uh, live and up-to-date information on your emails, news, social network, and many other things. This is your home button. It will always bring you back to your home screen. Press and hold it to view recent or open apps. The touch buttons on either side will give you quick and easy access to other menu options or to take you back a step. Here you'll find your task manager for active applications, which will allow you to force quit them. Downloaded apps to uninstall any that you don't need. RAM to see how much processing memory you're currently using. So if your S4 starts to run a little slow, this is the place to come and check it out. We have plans to launch over 150 tutorials for the S4, so look out for them on our website. We hope by now you're feeling a little more familiar and comfortable with your Samsung Galaxy S4 smartphone. And don't forget to watch our other tutorials. Please feel free to re-watch this video or download it for offline viewing. 
please rate and provide any feedback about our video below or just email us at hello at the human manual online .com. my name is andrew and i'm your human manual to your samsung galaxy s4 smartphone thanks for watching and bye for now